This is Dabu 7. With everything going on these days, every day, it's easy to miss some of these other stories that are going on. And sometimes these are big stories, big discoveries. And oftentimes we're left in the dark in terms of the big information that pertains to the cosmos. This goes back to ancient knowledge that is kept out of the hands of man. And with some of these places that we see, like Orion's Belt, the Pleiades, we've seen them engraved into places on this planet, even the pyramids in Giza aligned to places like this. And we've seen this over and over again. Now, with modern technology, every day we're able to peer further and further into space to see new things, find out new things, and see things in a different light, in a different spectrum. Things like a red dwarf and things like that cannot be seen in the regular light spectrum. They have to see it in the infrared and others. So there could be things floating around out there that are massive that you cannot even see with the naked eye. And what they've discovered here in terms of our Milky Way, I think is a big, big time discovery because as they explain this, they go on down through here. They say that they have found a massive archway, the structure. It is a bridge of massive blue stars that spans a branch of 10,000 light years in length. And it extends out of Orion and connects into Perseus. Now, this is very interesting to me because when you look at the numbers, out of the 400 billion stars in just the Milky Way, less than a million are blue stars. The surface of our sun is around 55,000 degrees Celsius, they say. They're saying that the temperatures on these can get up to 30,000 Celsius, 10 times their mass. So this is a, a big announcement. And it ends this by saying that the elements that we're made of as humans, and you should realize this, the things like silicone and phosphorus atoms that you find in our DNA, the most common place inside the cosmos that these are created are inside of stars or the remains of stars that died billions of years ago. It's pretty wild, but... This little area, I'm going to look more into this big blue bridge of stars that is now said to be coming out of Orion. And another key bit of information here. Where they located this? They say that in the galactic map that we have drawn, an over-density of stars is observed in a space that was previously apparently empty. Hmm. Well, well, I'm going to expand on that further in the next live stream. Make sure to join me. It's going down Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. The gloves come off and the truth all over the place where we can speak freely. D-Live. Links below. Eyes to the skies.